Hi, welcome back to another week of Relidate the Bachelorette. We're on week four. Um, there was a lot that happened this week, so let's jump right in. Um, so as we're getting started today, I wanted to open and just start start talking about gaslighting. What gaslighting is, how you can recognize it, and what the heck it has to do with the Bachelorette. So gaslighting is when someone is using like manipulation techniques to essentially try to make you believe something that is not true or make you believe something that they that doesn't exist. Um, so what I mean, a good example of this would be if someone were trying to manipulate you and tell you that you said something that you didn't say or tell you that you didn't say something that you did say. Um, so this can come become apparent when it is like trying to make a better reputation, trying to gain control, trying to gain power. We see it in romantic relationships at times, and we saw a whole lot of it last night, or not last night, a whole lot of it the other night in The Bachelorette. So <laughs> any guesses as to who I'm talking about at this point just yet? It's Thomas. If you guessed Thomas, you were correct. It is indeed Thomas, and we got to see him go home with a lot of glory there. So he was called out by Katie because Katie could tell that he was not being truthful with her. Um, and so again, why do I bring up gaslighting when talking about Thomas? Well, it's because Thomas was trying to manipulate Katie, trying to ma manipulate the rest of the guys in the house and did some gaslighting of his own. So this was very apparent when he was, I guess the whole premise there, the whole thing that happened there was him telling people in the house that he thought that he could be the next bachelor and then not telling that completely to Katie or the way that he did say it to Katie was was different in the way that he was telling it to the guys in the house. And so that's something that that Katie kind of picked up on. It seems like there were other things that, that Thomas may have been telling the other people in the house that wasn't quite what he was telling Katie. Because as we saw, almost every guy in the house was rushing to Katie's aid, trying to make sure that she knew everything about Thomas that she should know in order to make a decision. And in the long run, that decision that she made was her cutting him off, sending him home, and not continuing that relationship based on a lot of the things that the guys in the house had told him. Uh, it did seem pretty telling that none of the guys in the house liked him. Like he didn't have any friends at all. I think he even said that to Katie at one point was that he didn't have many friends in the house. And that's a big red flag. Like what's going on there? Yes, it is an awkward situation where you're communicating with all these different people that are trying to win the heart of the same woman. However, there's something to be said for the fact that Thomas just didn't have any close friends in the house. Um, I think that that says that he's maybe not, oh, goodness gracious. I'm sorry. We got a cat involved here. This is Stormy and we're going to keep going. Um, there's something to be said for the fact that he doesn't have any close friends in the house. And so that's, that's something that's really important and probably should be noted. The other thing that's really important here is that what he was telling Katie, he was trying to manipulate. He was trying to go in there and like get his time with her so that she had time to figure out what she wanted and what she needed from the rest of the house. It's not a good situation. It's not a good situation for Thomas. And it does make me wonder how things would have gone with Thomas had there not been other guys around to sort of help protect Katie. I do think Katie would have seen it eventually. But the other guys in the house had this advantage of being able to tell her things that they had seen, which maybe got him kicked off from the show earlier than he would have otherwise. Let me put her down real quick. Yeah. So, yeah, a really, a really interesting show there. A little really interesting time that we saw with how she was connecting with the guys. What can you do if you notice that someone is gaslighting you in your own relationships? This could be your friendships. This could be your romantic relationships. And so the biggest sign there is if you have said something and they try to convince you, you haven't said it. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example of this. So for instance, like if you tell someone that that upsets you, that they're doing something that upsets you, and then later on, they do the thing that upsets you again and then try to say, oh, well, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know this was something that upset you. So that's that's one form of gaslighting that you should be aware of and should look out for. Um, the other one is if they're saying something that like that you never said. So saying something that you never said and trying to act like it's true. So an example of this one would be, oh, well, you were really mad then. Like, I know that you were super mad right then. And that's 
that's why you were doing that. When in reality, maybe you weren't mad at the situation. Um, so again, these are things to look out for because it's it's a control tactic. It's a tactic to try to get for that person to try to get that get you to see things through their eyes and not in a way that's positive. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I am glad that Thomas got sent home. I hope that you guys are too, because he was just not not the right match for Katie. Um, so yeah, thanks. Join me next time and I will see you later. Actually, here's here's Stormy for you before we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>